Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and in another video we showed you the V series with the XML LEDs from Sunway Man. This video is going to take a look at the M series with the XML. So we have the M10R, M10A, M20A. Single CR123, single AA, two AA's. So let's go ahead and open up the M10R, show you what you get on the inside, and uh, show you all the accessories because you're going to get all the same stuff with all three lights. So we'll just pull the lights out of the other two. So have some uh, warranty information, instruction manual, a little brochure if you want to see their other products. Of course, if you want to see them in action, we'll have videos on all of them. Here's the holster. We'll show you that better here in just a second. Here is the flashlight. Of course, we'll show you that better in a minute. Pocket clip. Clips right on like that. It's nice and secure. Actually takes a decent amount of force to put it on there and remove it. Lanyard in there, spare O-rings, spare boot cover, tail cap, so if you ever need to replace that, you do have that ability. I personally never needed to do that, but uh, I know some people do. They abuse their lights. <laughs> Alright, so here is the holster. I'm going to go ahead and open it up, slide the light down in there, and then put the flap over the top. So it's nice and secure in there, even though you can see I've got a decent amount between the, uh, the top of the flap and the, uh, the top of the light, or the bottom of the flap and the top of the light. You can put it on there tighter if you wanted to, but even without it on there tight, it's in there nice and secure because you do have some stretchiness on the inside that uh, holds it in place pretty well. Nice heavy duty holster. A lot of the times companies will give you throwaway little holsters. This one's actually pretty nice. Uh, pretty high quality nylon and everything. Some attachment points on the back, so you have this uh, lanyard or carabiner attachment point, however you want to attach that. Hook and loop here belt loop, attach it to your pack, wherever else you want to attach it, protect it on the top and the bottom. So that's the holster for the M10R, and you saw the rest of the accessories, and you get all the same stuff with the other two, so we're just going to pull the lights out of the other two. Got the M10A, single AA one, and the M20A, the two AA one. So the holster on this one is losing my lights. <laughs> Should know better than to uh, not stand them up. So the holster on this one's a little bit different. This one actually has the loop up here that you slide the light into. And then you close the loop back on there to hold it into place. It doesn't have the flap that goes over the top, but it still holds it in there nice and securely. Protects the light really well. Alright, so three different lights. I'll show you the size difference between them real quick. On top, there is the M10R, M10A, and then M20A. Here it is zoomed in just so you can see the differences between the three. M10R, M10A, M20A. M10R is one of my favorites. I really like the nice compact little lights, especially with the, uh, the rotary ring to adjust between the different outputs. It's pretty cool. So there is the end of it. You can see that XML LED. So it's going to be a larger LED than what you see on the M10R or the V10R. This one's actually a V10R, but it uses the same LED as the M10R. You can see how much bigger the uh, that XML LED is. So in the same size light, same size reflector, it's going to be more lumens, but it's going to be more of a floody beam. It's going to be more spread out, what you're going to see with the uh, XML versus the XPG. And you'll see that better. We'll take these outside and compare the beams between the two, just so you can see. Switch on the end, pretty cool. They put their logo on it. I like it when companies do that. It's nice to see the nice little touches. We're gonna stand these back up because they're inevitably gonna roll away. <laughs> All right, so we can zoom in nice and close. You can see the details on this little guy. They always do a really good job on their lights for the machining and anodizing. Really cool looking designs. I really like their designs. There's a LED and reflector and the switch again. So go ahead and open it up. Show you the inside. You can see nice touches even on the inside. So you know these things are high quality when they're making the stuff that you don't see look nice as well. Square threads, great wearing on that. One thing I really like about the Sunway Mans is you only have a couple of turns to get the head on and off. And uh, it's not like it's a worry of it coming off when it's screwed on. Because, I mean, it's on there nice and secure. It's not going to shake off or anything like that. But when you need to access the battery, it's just a couple quick turns to get it, to get it off. So M10R, powered by a single 123. We're going to drop that in there. Stick the head back on and throw the light across the table. <laughs> All right. So you can tell they can at least handle a, uh, a one-foot throw. That was an informal torture test. 
All right, so the operation on these things, we're gonna go ahead and turn the ring all the way to the left. Lightly press the switch, momentary activation. Click it all the way for constant on. And you can turn it on and off that way. And as long as you're just using the switch on the back, it's not gonna switch modes on you. So if you wanna have it in that lowest output like we have it right now, you can do that. And of course, as always, you can see all the run times and specs and all that kind of stuff on our site. I usually don't go over that stuff in the videos, but uh, we have all that stuff on the website if you wanna see that. So to switch between the modes, what you do is you turn this ring up here. And as you can see, you have three different outputs you can choose between and then strobe. So strobe is all the way to the right, high, medium, and low. And you can quickly access all three of these. And it doesn't have to be on. You can change it to whatever you want and then turn it on and it'll go on into whatever you want, which is kind of nice. So you can just throw the ring one way when you have it in the dark, turn it on and it'll be on in the mode that you want it to be in. So that's the M10R, M10A, and the M20A, like I said, are going to be the same exact interface, just different battery types, so they're going to have a little bit different outputs and everything. So we got one double A, throw that in there, turn it off, apparently I turned it on earlier, <laughs> and then two double A's and the M20A. So the difference between these and the uh, the V10R, V10A, and V20A are you have the three modes on the uh, on these three versus the V10R series or the three modes plus strobe, the three outputs plus strobe versus the V the V series. They have that infinite adjustment ring, but they don't have the strobe in there. So you can see the difference between the two different series. And we're going to take the V10R out there just because it's, it has the same output and everything as the M10R with the, uh, with the XPG, just so you can get an idea of the difference of the beam between the XPG and the XML. So that's the interface, that's the accessories for all these lights. We're going to go and take all these outside and we'll show you the differences of uh, how they do outside. Okay, we're out here with the Sunway Man M Series with the XML, got the 4D mag light, got the little V10R with the XPG. So let's go ahead and try out that mag light first. Alright, so there is a little bush, 15 feet, tree out there at 100 feet. There you go. Anybody that's watched our videos, you've probably seen this 300 times. <laughs> Alright, here is the V10R with the XPG. So you can see nice, tight, focused hot spot on that. Nice and bright. Really tiny little light. Does great even at out, out at 100 feet. All right, let's try out the XML versions of the M series. First off, we have the M10R with the XML. Oops, there we go. There's the high output, we had it on strobe, but there's your high output, there's your medium, there's your low. And just to show you up close kind of stuff, it does pretty well. I don't even know if the camera can pick it up, but uh, I can see stuff pretty well on low, real up close. But there it is on high, so let's zoom in on that. You can see a much larger hot spot. The hot spot is the part in the center of the beam. So this part right here, this is the hot spot. It's the brighter center part. And the spill is the less dark part around it. So shine that around a little bit. So that was the M10R. Let's try the M10A. Make sure it's on high. And shine it around a little bit. There's your strobe. There's your high again. We'll zoom in on that tree. Not bad for a single, single AA battery. And there's your medium and a low. Again, you're probably not gonna be able to see a whole ton, but I can see stuff pretty well with it. All right, so here's your M20A. Go ahead and crank it up to high. There's your high on that. So you can see pretty similar to what you saw with the M10R, but using two AA batteries. So they're a lot easier to find, but uh, it is quite a bit larger. So just to give you an idea of the difference between the two, here's your M20A with the uh, XML LED. There's your V10R with the XPG. So you can see how much more tight and focused the XPG is. So you're gonna get a little bit better throw in the same size and output light and everything. Or not same size and output, but the same size and battery type and reflector and all that. But uh, you can see the difference in the beam. So the XML is gonna light up a much wider area at once, but the XPG is gonna be more focused and give you a little bit better throw. 
So there you go. That's the new M series. You got the M10R, M10A, M28, XML from Sunway Man. If you like them, you can get them from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. Put out a ton of flashlight videos, tactical gear, survival gear, general outdoor gear, all kinds of stuff. Thanks for watching.